Hey, it's a Frank student here. In this video, I'm going to be showcasing how to create toggle buttons. And I'll create this very simple program where we can toggle between two buttons. And if we have the toggle button one toggled, we would display button one. Or if toggle button two is toggled, we would just simply display button two. Let's get started. So I already have a working JavaFX window inside IntelliJ. And I have connected my sample FXML to Scene Builder. So first, let's get a toggle button. Uh, let's have another one. And what I'm going to be toggling is probably just setting some text to some values. So we'll add some text, make it a bit bigger. And actually, it's just called toggle button. One, toggle button, two. And we're also going to add a toggle bottle, toggle button group which is just going to call buttons. No, it's not very creative. Just going to call that one button. And the other one, we're also going to add it to the button category. So now they are mixed together. So now when we run the window, we can see if I remember to save that we're only able to toggle one. And then when we toggle the other, the other one would untoggle. So let's add some code connection. So an action, which is called toggle, toggle button. And this is button one. And I'm also going to put the same action on the other one. But this has got to be button two. So whenever either of these are checked, I will just check if it was toggle button one toggled or toggle button to toggle and then I will change the text depending on which toggle button was toggled. So I would copy the text and we're going to copy our example console skeleton into our controller and I will import action events from JavaFX and I actually made a mistake, we should call this toggle button the capital B if we're going to be correct. There we go. So now I will simply do on toggle button action. I will simply just check if event dot get source equals or equal equal to button one. Then I will have my text to button one. But if my event that get source equal equal button two, I will just simply have my text that the text to button two. So this is just a very simple way of creating a toggle error. So now when we run it, we can click one toggle button and it says button one or we'll click another one and it will say button two and the other one untoggles. So in this way, we could, for example, set some value. If you're having like some kind of system where you can have like a turn on or turn off or one or two or like something or something else, you'd be able to set a variable inside your your code. So some value depending on which button was toggled, where you just set the value specified like this. And here in the end, I'd actually like to showcase what the difference is with the toggle button and the radio button. Because if you know the radio button, it might seem very similar. And it actually is, it works in this exact same way. The only difference is the setup or the layout kind of where our toggle buttons, a button we toggle, where our radio button are this like radio area we can toggle on and off. So it's like a dot picked between radio buttons where our toggle buttons is buttons being toggled. So that's the basics of the toggle buttons. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.